for Lily Central. Blend now selling. You're listening to the number one call team. Made in Geelong and the South Coast. For Geelong and the South Coast. The home of football in Geelong. Live. Breathe. K-Rock football. My team's back out on Etihad Stadium with the Dogs leading by 5 points, 8, 9, 57, Essendon 7, 10, 52. Heath Buck always likes to talk about those who could lift as we go into the second half on the Fags Might Attend stat sheet. Yeah, it's off the Twitter. Jen's with us. Hello, boys. Wish I could stay up, but I'm exhausted. I'll listen for a bit. I'm sure you'll do a great job as always. Thanks, Jen. Yeah, look, uh, Eastern will be mentioned him. Been a little bit quiet just to four disposals. Liberatore's done a bit of a run with roll with Merritt. Um, but it's just a watch merit a little bit. He wasn't close to him in that second quarter. He just had the five disposals. Picking, though, two marks, five disposals after kicking six last week. Needs to probably do a little bit more. McLean, just the seven disposals. And for the Bombers, Kelly, quite no kicks. Uh, Laverde, just the one kick. Gleeson, just no kicks to this stage of the wow. game. Tipper Woody, just four kicks so far and just the one tackle. Um, and I, did I mention Kelly? No kick so far, just the three handballs. So players on both sides. Myers is another one, just three kicks in the first half. Probably needs to do a little bit more as to Fantasia. Although Fantasia, Merritt, Collier and a couple of the other quick players in the last five minutes, can you that third quarter got their hands on the footy? Players moving into position. Thank you for that, Bucky. Fags might attend. And, of course, our Twitter, at K-Rock Football, is where you can tweet us any time of the day, 24-7. And, of course, when we're at the game, using the AFL official hashtag, which, of course, today is AFL Dogs Dons. Umpire holds the ball off to start the third quarter. Thanks to give where you live. Here's Ben Castanier. So it'll be Bell Chambers against Roughhead. Dogs clearly won the clearances in that second term, taken by Wallace, who's immediately tackled by the man we spoke about at half-time, Joe Watson. We'll have a secondary stoppage still smack bang in the middle of Etihad Stadium. Just see if there's any Wombat Gully changes. Randy, we'll get back to you with those in a moment. And again, we're going to have another stoppage because Myers took the footy and he had no prior opportunity. No, they're pretty good, Benny. Western Bulldogs have gone a touch smaller, though, in their front half with Cloak starting on the interchange. So again... So we can't clear it out. Zaharakis kick went about half a metre to Watson. He was taken by a couple of dogs. Wallace tries to farm it out to the voice of Daniel. But Essendon again are able to clog it up. So the opening minute, the ball has moved 6.3 metres. Can you see if you can't clear it out? Thank you, Benny. Umpire Ryan puts it in the air. Tapped down by Bell Chambers. Watson couldn't take it cleanly. Hipple a handball out the side door to Collier. Here's Myers on his left boot, sending a kick long, looking for a marking option and coming out and stretching his big Stewart. He's got about 55 from home, left half forward out of sight. Lowers the eyes into the pocket, diving and coming across hooker to try and mark. Can't do so. And there's going to be a boundary throw. That might have been... Was that Liberatore getting across to help? That was suckling. Is that a poor, that a poor option, Brownie? If, if Hooker marks that, he's basically outside the field of play. Yeah, he'd like to think Danaher a bit closer to goal would be in, uh, the better option. From the boundary throw in Bell Chambers. Taps it down from the pack. Stewart gave it to Merrick. He had his kick partially smothered. It was picked up by Wood, who snapped it over his left shoulder. Mark dropped there by Watson. That's not ideal. The ball spills from McRae. Picking handball wide. Hunter on his non-preferred right. Not a great kick for McLean. It eludes him. McGrath just threw it out back to Heppel. Heppel over his shoulder to Watson. Watson through the eye of a needle to Zaharakis. Now to Bagley. Bagley can go one more to Merritt. Merritt will want to cut back in board onto his left boot. Does run himself into trouble, but then a handball out of trouble to Zaharakis, or a hooker rather. Hooker gives it back by hand. Pulling the trigger on the kick. Is that Myers? Top of the square. Well, when you've got a play from six foot five and a half, Six foot six. Why wouldn't you just bang it to the top of the square and just say, well, you got the reach? And that's exactly what he does. And Danaher, who kicked four, has now got five. Waste little time in getting the Bombers back the lead by a point. It's their first lead since the 25-minute mark of the first quarter. They are 8-10-58. The Dogs are 8-9-57. Three minutes gone. Th- uh, two minutes gone, rather. Third quarter, thanks to you where you live. That's all he wanted, wasn't it? Kick it in long, get it into the big guy. He's got uh, fantastic hands and hitting the scoreboard at the moment. And Ace Cordy's certainly got his uh, his Zane Cordy, sorry. Not Ace. Nearly, nearly stuffed that up, though, Brownie. Uh, Hooker gave it to Myers on his wrong side. He had to loop right around and nearly lost that opportunity to get Danaher one-on-one in the goal square. Yeah, it just allowed him to come back through the corridor, though, didn't it? But, uh, yeah, not ideal, but get it inside forward 50. 
10 metres out, you're going to score more often than not. Back in the middle, the umpire just bent with a bounce just to throw it up, so obviously they can just suit themselves. Well, I did it last night quite a bit, Benny, too. So Hunter, a high ball, inside 50, lurking there is Hurley, so to Liberatore at the back, Heppel, hand pass was good, it was well weighted for Zaharakis, flicks it back to Myers, he had a fumble though, that allowed Bonampelli in, Myers has to tackle, Bonampelli does so and locks it up deep in the forward pocket for the Dogs. I reckon, is it four of five, Dana, uh, four of Danaher's five goals have been from basically the top of the goal square? Quite extraordinary. So, throw up, rough head down, Wallace taken by Daniel, big tackle by Bagley, Watson fighting hard, Give it to, gave it to Heppel, his kick was smothered, and the ball does not stay in the field, a play goes out for a throw in, 50 round from the Doggies goal, early going, third term, the margin is one point, the Bombers lead, 8-10-58, both sides locked on nine wins after 18 rounds. All important round 19 clash. Boundary throw in actually clears the two. Ruckman out the back. The handball up came from Biggs, but it missed its target. And through the arms of Young, here's Fantasia. Merritt into space. And Danaher and Zara Ruckus are out, but coming the other way. Holding the footy up to Suckling. It's dragged down in the tackle, and there's going to be a free kick. They might have thrown it or been holding the footy either way. It's a free kick to Zaharakis. Sends a kick long, looking down there for a mark. And the fly came from Stewart, knocked away by Wood. In front of the pack is Daniel. Got it at left half back. Gives it off by hand to Biggs. Biggs just back of the wing, back to Daniel by hand. Daniel now sends a kick long. Bontempelli's got him behind his man. He takes the mark against the first thing Hartley. Calls for 50 from dog fans, not coming. Bontempelli drives the ball to the advantage of Dixon. That's a wonderful kick, and Dixon can stroll into goal. And he's kicked his third, Tory Dixon. Good reply from the Dogs, but the kick was absolutely superb to the advantage of Tory Dixon. And it allowed him not to have to worry about the set shot, although he is pretty good at that. He can just stroll into goal, Brownie, and they go back out by five points. Yeah, fantastic uh, ball use from the Bulldogs. But uh, when Bon Pally is your key forward and uses the ball like that and makes decisions to uh, with the kicks to advantage going inside forward 50. You're in a uh, fantastic position. Going a lot smaller, the Bulldogs. I don't understand why you would have Michael Hartley as the matchup for Bon and Pally. Hurley, surely Hurley. I mean, Hurley's rivaling Rance as the best defender in the comp. It staggers me that they'd have Hartley, who tries hard, but I to say he's just a battler. Bell Chambers up, down to Heppel. Tried to farm a hand pass to Myers. He's wrapped up in the tackles and holding the ball. Ball spills to Heppel now. To half forward, his kick was too high for Hooker. Lands inside 50. Coming up to meet it was Wood. He had a fumble to lab Danaher in. Parrish goes in. So too Bailey Williams. McDonald Tip and Woody has been really quiet. Ball spills out the back to Dalhouse. He gave it to Wallace, who was ripped off the footy by Hooker. And it's locked up Pickin and Heppel inside forward 50 throw up. This shows how much uh, Eastern Woods out of Nick. He actually didn't go for that ball and his, his teammate said, you need to go. He w stopped and waited. Tapped down Bell Chambers, roving, done by Zarakis, gave to Myers, banged it on the boot, Danaher! Between the right-hand goal and behind post, right on the line, stretched and marked. Right side for a left footer. He'll look to step out on the J curve, I suspect. He's having a shocker, Easter Wood. He's been on Stewart, he's just killed him. Now he's... Got Danaher in the, in the goal square. That's For, not a match. 13 no. centimetres. Yeah, it is. Away. For an equal career high sixth. Only seven minutes into the third quarter and a two goal lead in the race for the Coleman. Danaher has missed. Just pushed it across the face. He's got five goals, two by my count. Bucky was a five goals, three. Five, three. So make that a four point lead now for the Dogs. So Johannesson with kicking duties. Who's the matchup? Brownie Ford down to her if they're going to go with somebody. It's clear it's not Wood. No, it's not Wood. Well, you got Cordy or you got Young. Otherwise, Roughhead's the other one. Ball back in 50 for the bomber. Zarakis had a handball. He had fluffed it. Johannesson took the spillage. Runs away to the wing. One bounce. Long to half forward. A one-on-one -on -one Bagley against Murphy. Over the top of those two players. Murphy was first back on it. Has to wheel back around Goddard. Now backtracks by foot with a dangerous ball, but it gets to cloak who's 70 from home, I want to get on his left, goes with a piercing ball to Pickin. Pickin couldn't mark, was it front on contact? Umpire said no, Dogs fan thought it was a free, Bagley wraps up. The man there might be at the bottom of the pack, it's Dixon, and we will have another stoppage inside forward 50. 
25 out, and dog fans thought it was a free fun on contact. Yeah, it looked like it too. It wasn't too dissimilar to the one a little bit earlier. It might have been Bagley involved as well. Yes, we've got a ball up. If you pay it against Suckling down the other end, boys, you've got to pay that one. And I don't think either of them were free kicks, but if you're going to pay one, you've got to pay the other. Consistent, yes. Ball up, tap down Bell Chambers. The only thing consistent about the umpires is their inconsistency. Pick and snaps the ball to the top of the square, bouncing ball. And it's well read over the back by Gleeson, but he fumbled, went to soccer. That's surely not deliberate, is it? Oh, no. He, he, he accidentally kicked the ball. He fumbled. He fumbled the footy and he fumbled onto his boot and his momentum with the foot then took it out of bounds. Oh. That's a horrible decision. And Lockie Hunter has a chance to push this margin out to double figures one more time. Tight in the right forward pocket. The left footer steps out, snaps and kicks a wonderful GMHBA goal that they contend Lovely finish, notwithstanding the decision that led to it. That was disappointing. That's an umpire with absolutely no feel for the game. Marty Gleeson would love to have taken possession of the footy. But in trying to, he stumbled and he socketed it out of bounds. Let's have a look at the replay, Brandon. Take us through it. Yeah, it was a good contest in the goal square from Gleeson. And he, he might have been a little toe poke there, but he just didn't bend over to pick it up. And uh, that's where he's... Oh. Undoing come from, but I, I, I suspect that he was waiting for it to sit back up for him, and his foot just got there before he expected it to. He should never have fumbled in the first place. He's yeah, had a great game. You've got to be better than that. 10 9 69, the dogs. Essendon 8 11 59, nearly 10 minutes gone, third quarter. So back in the middle. Again, the dogs just arrest the ascendancy. McRae tried to handle that to rough it. Was he taken high? Umpire says no. And ball's still inside the centre circles. The Bulldogs win today and Bucky goes down into the rooms. Can we find out what that uh, celebration's all about from Hunter? I didn't the see little it. O. The little O. The little Barrio, maybe. Yeah. Maybe it was a wrestling fan of Barrio. Ball to half forward to free kick. I think it's going to go against Bob Murphy in the back. He was just out of position, this, the skipper. And he, oh, is that 50? It is. It's 50 against McRae. If he's well, fallen the player, though, should it be? Well, that's right. He was in the, in the old... Zone you can't get into. The protected zone. The protected zone. Let's have a look at it. Bucky, you've got plenty of those at home. Yeah, plenty of those. And what happens? Do you get March back at home? Oh, just the bedroom's the main one. Yep, yeah, definitely. <laughs> oh, it's an interesting one, isn't it? So, Hurley went for the bomb, and I think he may have kicked it. In fact, it didn't go out in the full. It went off Cordy's hands and for a throw-in adjacent to the behind post. I'm not sure that was the preferred play from Michael Hurley. He went the long bomb. Maybe just should have put it to the top of the square because Joe Danaher has lurked there all day and looks super dangerous. So if McRae goes around the man with the footy, he probably doesn't get pinged but because he went in front of him. There's Parrish, handball, Stewart, one more. Gave it to Collier. Collier, a quick snap. They need a goal. And he's missed to the left-hand side. And it's through for a behind. The margin is again nine. And Benny just may need a doctor by the end of the day. You all right there? Yeah, just... Just struggling a bit. A bit of a lurgy. I'll toughen up, though. Johannesson oh. plays onto himself and then goes with a piece. I'm not sure what Cray was the intended target, but it got to him. Gives it to Bailey Williams, sweeping by. Breaks the tackle. Did well. Goes long. That was the Watson chase. Great kick, but it wasn't a great kick. In fact, it was well read by Bagley. He got out the back of Wallace and took a nice defensive mate. Now he wants to switch. I'm not sure that's the option because he's kicked it straight to Murphy. I'm not sure what Mark Bagley was thinking. He switched to Gleeson, who had Murphy standing basically a metre away. And Murphy is marked 35 out, not much of an angle. They were holding hands, Benny. He was that close. That was quite extraordinary. Bagley just mustn't have seen Murphy. How he couldn't is quite staggering. And Murphy gets a chance to make the margin 15, and he does. So, courtesy of potentially a lucky free kick... And then a howling mistake in the back half. The margin is out to 15 points. The reigning Premier 11 9 75. Essendon 8 12 60. We've gone 12 minutes. Third term thanks to Give Where You Live. He's been pretty good on uh, picking Bagley, but uh, he'll be disappointed with that decision and execution. Just not there. Looking for that perfect play, the perfect switch coming out. And it's times where you just can't afford to invent things and it's always in your defensive 50. You can't invent anything down there. Just off the Twitter, George Temple, and I hate to say it, boys, but I almost look forward to that bad, deliberate calls just to hear the reaction of you guys <laughs> in the box. 
Three goals to one in this third term. Five points has become a game-high 15-point lead for the Dogs. Roughhead did his own roving in the end against Danaher. Gave it off by hand to Daniel. Snapped a kick over his left shoulder towards half forward. Wanting down there, Bailey Dale. No free kick. Yes, paid for a hold. We'll come back to the 31 of the Dogs. Bailey Dale with the footy. Quickly on with it. Right foot kick leading Dixon. Well done, McDonald. Tip and Woody got across in front. Cut off the lead. Took the mark. Well, he's had a shocker, Bucky. What's he had on yeah, the face? Very, very quiet. Uh, no defensive pressure. Just the four, five kicks now for Tip and Woody. They put him in the midfield now, guys. Try and get him into the game. Goes back to Gleeson. And then he goes short to Collier. Just outside defensive 50. Left half back out of side. McDonald, Tip and Woody. What a great story he's been. But quiet today. Long ball. Collier looking down there for a marking option. Stewart fisted away by Wood. Front of the pack, Caleb Daniel tried to get up by hand to Williams. Well done by Laverde. Spun out of trouble. Gave it to Fantasia through traffic. He goes. Watson heard the voice of Collier out the back. He's got it back back of the wing. Collier now. He wants to take them on with a bounce. His left foot kick is an absolute mung. Ricocheted off the boot of Wood, but he's got help there. Roughhead is one of those to pick up. Just back of the wing. He kicks down towards center half forward. McKenna back with the flight. Misjudged his leap. Hurley was playing in front of Bottom Pally. Was 10 metres off him and took the footy. He gave it up to McKenna, and he's got Parrish on the broadcast wing. He did, Parrish. He's got Zaharakis working for him, goes in that direction. Zaharakis dropped what he should have taken, finds it on the ground. From 40 into the square, he's got Hooker. And Hooker has kicked the goal. Ooh, hang on. I'm no, not sure, boys. I don't, I don't think, he think he has. He marked it in the square, and from half a metre out, has it been touched? Yes. Yeah, Lewis Young got across in front of his legs, and he's kicked it into the shins of Young. Well, that is a howling mistake from Kyle Hooker. This could be game 50 here, we'll want to forget. Because he's marked the ball a metre out. Why he just wouldn't go back? And... That's... Ooh, hang on, was it already over? That's a point, I think. So... Ooh, it may have actually been the left calf it's hit, and it may be a goal. It looks to... Yeah, you're right, Bucky. Nah, so behind. Paid. They've already paid They've it, paid it. Well, there you go. Margin is 14. That is horrendous. That's not ideal from Kyle Hooker. Either way, the Dogs have got the ball now right half forward. And the footy is with Lucas Webb. Webb on his left. A little chip kick over the top to Hunter, who goes back at the nine-minute mark and the chance to kick his second. Just looking back at that vision, Brad, it looked like the ball actually got over the line before it did hit Lewis Young. But umpires have seen it differently, or those in the bunker... Didn't Nildy tell us that Hooker was a thinker about the game? <laughs> Sometimes when you pull that top knot a bit too tight, it just <laughs> stops the blood flow. Yeah, the blood flow. <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's a potentially game-turning decision, that one. 14 points. It should have been back in the middle, and the margin should have been back to nine. Instead, Lockie Hunter to make it 20. No, he's let them off. Kyle Hooker may be breathing a sigh of relief at the other end of the ground. The margin is 15. 11-10-76, the Western Bulldogs, Essendon 8-13-61 at the 16-minute mark. So 21 scoring shots apiece, but Essendon's inaccuracy hurting them. So Hurley plays on himself and goes with a wonderful kick. A piercing ball went 55 metres to Parrish. Now he pulls the trigger on a kick inboard to Watson. Watson marks if he wants to move it quickly. He's at 50. He wants to play on. He's got men out the back. The kick wasn't great, but it gets to McDonald, Tip and Woody. They might hit him on the counter. McDonald, Tip and Woody, good kick on the left. Inside forward 50 to Orazio Fantasia, the Formula One driver. And he can go back from 45 out directly in front and get that goal that Cale Hooker should have kicked minute moments ago. It was a good kick, Brownie, because he had, I think he had Stewart on the right-hand side on his preferred side, but he went the harder option on his left, but uh, better position for the Bombers. Yeah, just back through the corridor, and two players, the Western Bulldogs, don't want to get back into this game for Essendon, uh, Fantasia, and also Tip and Waddy. Hasn't kicked a goal this afternoon, 36 on the season, and still hasn't kicked a goal. It was never on target. It was always wide right, and just a minor score. Margin is 14, 8 14 62. The Bombers, Western Bulldogs 11 10 76, midway through, nearly hitting time on in this third term. Thanks to give where you live. Suckling with the footy to bring it back into play to himself, and he'll come broadcast side, will he? Well, he's got a little bit of trouble. He's done what he confronts. He gives off by hand to Biggs. Biggs a lob wedge towards half back, looking down there. There's a one on one Murphy and Hurley. Hurley's been held. Umpire. Will pay advantage. Will he kick inside 50? McDonald Tippin Woody going back with the flight couldn't mark. Biggs came out, took the footy, was wrapped up by McDonald Tippin Woody. 
Ball through hands and across the face of goal. It's a good pass for Young, trying to open up the city side of the ground. Young, a little bit betwixt and between, not sure where to go. Now he delivers beautifully to Tory Dixon, who's got it near the boundary line on that outer side of the ground, Benny. He's got some poise, Young, hasn't he, Brownie? He has. He showed some merit to think his way through that situation and did it wonderfully well. Onto the chest of Dixon. Now Dixon just goes long to the wing. Pack of players of form. Picking up high. Couldn't mark. Heppel tries to slap it to a teammate. Only as far as Ruffhead, who gives to McRae. McRae on the non-preferred right. Was beautiful to Bonham Pelly. Bonham Pelly on a wheel onto his left. Does. High ball. Maybe not a great kick. He wants Liberatore. Suckling it was out the back. Dan Hurd did well. Stood up in front. Goddard took the spillage. Hand passes to Parrish. Parrish now at the back to Stewart. Stewart gives it to McKenna. Sweeping by. The ice we've got time for a bounce. Long ball inside forward 50. Only man there is Fantasia. He'll pick it up in the square. In fact, he goes off the ground and kicks the goal. Might have hurt himself too for Total Tools. He's come up a bit gimpy, but he gets six points for his team. Margin back to eight. 9 14 68. Western Bulldogs 11 10 76. Give where you live and Brandy. They opened them up there, Pagan's Paddock style. Yeah, I'm not sure what Bottom Pally was doing there with that kick. He's kicked it to the hottest man on the field in Joe Danaher. He's marking and catching everything and just competed. Got it to ground and then uh, speed a ball. Fantasia tried to do the right thing by uh, landing a bounce through, but uh, took a little bit of a turn, so he had to kick it out of midair, boys, to finish up. And twisted his right ankle in the process, too. Well, it's a good play by Fantasia because it actually looked like that was going to go through the guts, that ball from Connor McKenna. McKenna. Oh, <laughs> you're right there, Bucky. Oh, geez, that's hard to say. Is that party the Irish boys. Quick kick forward. Knocked away by Cordy, but Collier at the front roving. McDonald tipping Woody back to Collier, showing good speed. Tight angle, right forward pocket. GMHP and a goal of an eight contender. Travis Collier, good little give and go with McDonald tipping Woody in the right forward pocket. And from a tight angle, he's able to guide it through the little jockey. Collier with his first of the afternoon, and all of a sudden we're back to a two-point ball game. The Dogs 11-10-76, Essendon 10-14-74 as we approach time on third quarter. Give away your live scoreboard here for Fags 1 at 10 is Heath Buck. Brownie, in that uh, back end of that second quarter, it was those quick players. Collier, he's had six touches this quarter. Fantasia, four. Now Tip of Woody getting his hands on it, four disposals as well. So when they look their most dangerous, it's those real nippy blokes which is causing headaches for the Doggies. Yeah, they've had a really good five-minute patch here. They have. They've been able to get some clean ball back in the middle. Clean's hand pass was a little hot for Hunter. Has to go back and mop up the mess. He does it half back now. Gives to Johannesson. Johannesson puts the afterburners on. He'll have one bounce. He'll have two. Fast and a sailor on a four-hour lead pass. Goes inside forward 50. But not a great kick. In fact, it's downfield, is it? Yeah, it'll come back. It'll come back. Johannesson was pushed in the back as he kicked the ball. It was actually been marked by Gleason. What's happened, Bucky? Oh, that's, one of your be- that's one of your better ones, Benny. It's just, just sort of coming to me what it's all about. It'd be extraordinary, anyway. wouldn't it? A sailor with the four hours just to do whatever they could. They try and fit in as much as they possibly could in that four hour time frame. Go to the zoo. Well, I'm sure, sure they will. <laughs> For a latte. Yeah. Exactly. In the middle, goes with that customary rock left foot. Goes to Cordy. Cordy's kick's not great. To set half back. It might be turned over here. Laverne gets a hand pass to Heppel. That wasn't great. They had Murphy in his back pocket. Pick and stole it. Set a half forward. Pick and goes inside forward. 50 bit getting across. Wonderfully well. Is Michael Hurley has been superb. It was intended for Lucas Webb Hurley. McKenna short. Benny's dying here in the box. Saharakis. McKenna by hand, trying to struggle to tackle McGrath. Haven't caught a lot of him today. Zaharakis oh, and stretching yeah. hook have got to be better. It's all right, it's ended up okay. Myers was involved. Now McGrath, now Goddard, now McDonald, Tip and Woody. They've got it at the edge of the sweat center square. He bangs it long to the goal square and back with the flight. No Mark Stewart looks through for a behind, is it? Yes. A rush behind in the margin is the barest. It's one point. 11-10. Plays 10-15 at the 22-minute mark of the third quarter. Thank you where you live. Scott on top. Browdy, haven't they? The Bombers in the last six or seven minutes. So's the Lugie. Open them up out the back. Long kick in. Clove goes up and takes a nice mark. Yeah, the Lugie to Stuart Jew. He wants to move it quickly. <laughs> He goes long, cloak, long ball to half forward, Dixon, not a great kick though, <laughs> he wants to look it. He was trying to kick it to Dixon, and it didn't quite have the required accuracy and went out for a throw in. And Hurley tests the umpire and says that's deliberate. The umpire says it was Travis Clark. That was actually a goal, didn't it? That was actually a no, goal. It came, off his, it? came off his knee, off um, oh. Cordy's knee, just. 
Either way, we've got a free kick right now, and it's going to the Dogs. It's going to Hunter. He's on the multicultural round logo. New side. Handball off to Suckling. Suckling will bang it long. Benny's got the sweats up. High ball, 20 out from goal. Well, the fist came from Bagley, but it was on Hurley. So at the front of the pack, Murphy roves. Gives it off to McLean. Went to give it to Dullhouse. Realised he'd be run down by Watson. So held on to it. Murphy backtracks outside of Ford 50. Sends a kick from 150 base to the other to Johansson. Who marks over the top of McDonald tip and Woody. He can go back and have a shot on a third. And the way he's been kicking them earlier, Lee Brown, you'll back him from here. Yeah, back him on the opposite side. Uh, that's ideal for a right footer, but he is a very skillful player. Bulldogs just got away from getting those hit up inside forward 50 entries rather than um, you know, they've been trying to bomb the ball in of late. They need to lower their eyes. And it's all about movement, using their skills going inside forward 50. The voice of Lee Brown this afternoon for Goddings Komoda's Platinum Excavator dealer. And here's Jason Johannesson kicking his third of the afternoon. Jason Johannesson at a timely juncture in play for the Western Bulldogs. Has got them back out to a seven-point advantage. 12-10-82. Essendon, 10-15-75. 24 minutes gone, third quarter for you where you live. Birds might attempt, Brandy. Robert Murphy's looked dangerous. He's only had the four touches this quarter, but he's looked dangerous. His ability to weave in and out of traffic. He's had the four touches. Mentioned Joe Aniston now. Four disposals this quarter. He's had limited opportunities. Just been dynamite in front of the big sticks. Just 11 touches, three marks, three goals straight. Well, I haven't really gone to him. The Bombers, Joe Hannison. No. At the moment, his matchup appears to be McDonald, Tip and Woody, who's been relatively quiet. Has had a few touches in the last six or seven minutes. Ball back in the middle. Up goes Bell Chambers. Down to Watson. Watson Watson farms it to Merritt. Merritt goes with a spiral out the back. Best position, Stewart. Who's there? Hooker. Front and square. Game 150. Goes around the corner and gets the quick reply. Hasn't been his day, Kale Hooker. But on that occasion, he turned Crummer and front and square snapped what was a relatively easy goal. And in the blink of an eye, the Bombers... Get the margin back to one. 11 15 81. The Dogs 12 10 82. Third term thanks to give where you live. Unfortunately for the Bulldogs, all their defenders flew for that high ball. So three went up against one. Two waiting down. One of them was Hooker. Nice easy front and centre crumb. Snap, snap over the shoulder. And uh, he's got one back, boys, that uh, he missed earlier. Great contest from Stewart. Just back on Jason Johannes. That's a career high, too, in terms of goals. He's third. One in each quarter so far. 12-10 plays 11-15. Great game of footy. One of the best games of this season so far. We're watching under the roof here at Eddie Hat Stadium. Hope you're enjoying it on K-Rock Football. As Ruffhead wins the tap down to Bonton Pally, who's currently in the middle. Twisting and turning and kicking towards the broadcast wing where it's marked by Daniel. He's got it just near the multicultural round logo. He goes short to Bonton Pally. Fain to give it to Lewis Young, but will hang on to the footy. He's 70 from home. He'll go long and high towards the goal square. He wants Cloak. It's a one-on-three. Cloak to to provide a contest. Roving is picking. Handball back though. Stolen by Gleeson but Murphy with a timely smother to send the ball out of play and get a stoppage. Left forward pocket, about 20 around from the left-hand behind post. JB Scott, local footy, Bannockburn 7-4, lead Belmont Lions 2-4 in the GDFL. Ball back into play. Rough hit and hooker, front position rough hit, ball was allowed to bounce, Kelly's handball partially smothered, stolen by Wallace, flying through, gave a handball off, Daniel's got it now with the snap, didn't get good connection, it floats into the right forward pocket, Cloak has it knocked away, it was a two on one, Merrick got back to help out, Michael Hartley, ball out of bounds, boundary thrown in the right forward pocket, 12-10-82, 11-15-81, as we approach 27 minutes gone, third quarter, thanks to you where you live. Once again, a key forward trying to take a mark on his chest with pressure around him, just stick their hands up, take it above your head. Yeah, good call, Brownie. So, Liberatore, roamed the crumb and kicks the goal. So, Bell Chambers won the tap, straight down the throat of Liberatore. One step round the corner, bang. And not sure that was the preferred setup of the Bombers. Easy goals and stoppages. And no doubt John Warsfold will be frustrated with that. Cough up an easy one in the shadows of three-quarter time. Margin back out to seven. 88 plays, 81. Give where you live third term. He's matched up against Zach Merritt there too and uh, just didn't defend hard enough, which is disappointing. A couple of defensive efforts from Merritt just haven't been up to standard and Liberatore, a nice finish on his left side. Also pointing the finger at Darcy Parrish as well. I saw Joe Watson 
after that stoppage as well, just having a bit of a chat to Darcy Parrish about where he was positioned as well, Brownie. So a couple of youngsters under five there. Bounce in the middle. Yeah, it's Bell Chambers and Ruffhead. Ruffhead wins the tap down. McRae came through, left the footy behind. So did Parrish as he overran it. Liberatore dragged down in the tackle. Ball spills out. Parrish. Merritt tried to pick it up. Here's McRae hit, just rolled in the tackle. Ball still inside the centre square near the broadcast wing. Now it emerges from there. Oh, Liberatore diving in low on Goddard to lock the footy up and we get a ball up. Gee, one of the rare stoppages we've had around the ground here this afternoon. It's been free-flowing footy. Only had 53 for the game. Fags might have 10, Kingy. That is stoppages. That includes centres and throw-ins as well from the boundary line. Yeah, well, considering what we've been there, well, half of those have been as a result of goals. We've got a free kick, have we, from the ruck contest we have. Which way is it going? It's going to the dogs. It's going to come back to Big Ruffhead, who's got it just back of the wing. No, it's in fact going off the footy. Yeah, Liberatore is tracking back to pick it up. Not sure exactly what happened there, but either way, it's Tom Liberatore with the free kick. I have no idea what that was for. Yeah, obviously, maybe against Zach Merritt. He's been his greatest afternoon. He's just played in bursts, Merritt, and a couple of efforts haven't been fantastic. Liberatore to half forward. They've made that move. Hurley on the bottom. Pally spoiled the footy away from the dog. Bagley there. Back to Hurley. Hand pass was a little hit and hope to the halfback flank. Gleeson couldn't take it. Merritt. His hand pass was chopped off by McLean. McLean sweeps it inboard to Dalhouse. Dalhouse gets around Watson with ease. Gets onto his right. Ball inside 50. Great kick to Wallace over the back. Oh, doing well there was McGrath. The number one draft pick affected a spore. Wallace at ground level. Gives to Pickin. Hard up on the boundary. Pickin to the top of the square. Couple of dogs there. Bottom pelly off the ground. Jim HBA goal today. Bottom pelly. He had two to be. Bought at the ground level. Gets his second. And just like that, margin back out to 13, 14, 10, 94. Essendon, 11, 15, 81. Nearly 30 minutes gone, third turn. Give where you live, K-Rock. Summed that up really well, didn't he? He was uh, 1v2. He knew he wasn't going to mark the ball, so he just got it down to an area where he could compete again. And fortunately, it was where his right boot was. He'd kick it through. Why, why didn't the Essendon defenders kill the contest with a punch? There was two of them there, Brandy. If you have a look at the replay, over, and they both went for the mark. Yeah, they did, and uh, I guess that's the balance of being a, a key defender these days. We want them to mark the ball, but uh, you need to do the fundamentals first and just kill it. Now the clearance for the Dogs, Dullhouse bangs a lot, wants Bond and Pally again, but Hurley used the body well, couldn't hang on to the mark, Bond and Pally rode, ducked in a bangly tackle, got a kick away, rolls into the left forward pocket, Webb stumbled, then regained composure, kick to the top of the square for Pickett, couldn't mark on his chest. McGrath flicked it up to Hurley out of his defensive goal square. A high ball towards right half back. They'll compete. Front position Hunter couldn't take the mark. Heppel is there trying to knock it away. Murphy ducked by Goddard. Ball spills out. Bell Chambers head over the footy. Little soccer forward by Collie, but the dogs have got numbers. Dullhouse handball out to the voice of Biggs, who was good in the first half. He's got Watson to keep him company, but he shrugged him off a little too easily, one might say. Kick inside forward 50. Ball got out the back of the pack. Bonta Pally leads a race for the footy, but Hurley was there. Just to give him a little bit of company to ensure that there was no easy possession for the Bont. And in the left forward pocket, I watched the Bont run at Geelong on Friday. It didn't go very well, Benny. Uh, the Bont, got booked for loitering. Not the Marcus variety here this afternoon, been good. Pretty kick, easy to kick three or four goals. Dallas has got it. His hand pass was chopped off by Bagley. His kick was smothered. Pressure good from the Dogs. Inside their forward 50, they lock it up. And we will have another stoppage. 20 out from their goal. They lead by 14 points in the shadows of three-quarter time. A minute and a half remaining. In fact, it's going to go about 33 minutes, 34 minutes this term. Bell Chambers, it's going to be a free kick against Bell Chambers. It's too shocker. high, was it? Having a shocker. He just made contact with the uh, upper region before the... Before the ball is bounced, just hit basically in the neck. So Ruffhead gets a chance from 45 degree angle. He's on the right side for a right footer. Not a noted goal kicker, just kicked three on the season, 27 across a career that's reached game 122 this afternoon. And this could be a really crucial goal in the context of this game. This to make the margin 19, and he knew he kicked it straight away. Umpire did not move one sinew of his being, Bucky. He just gets back to the middle of the big white ones and says that's six points. 
and 19 points is the margin, 15, 10, 100. They've re- cracked the ton, and we're not yet at three-quarter time. Essendon 11, 15, 81, give where you live third term. Bell Chambers still arguing the point there. I'm not sure what he's trying to argue. He's he's hit Roughhead in the throat. He's oh. taken his eyes off the ball and grabbed his other hand with his chin. Or grabbed his chin with his hand. <laughs> you know what I meant? His chin. The old chinny chin chin. It's been on top, Roughhead. I know Bell Chambers is one hit out, 31 to 18, but around the ground, Roughhead's been good. Facts might attend 14 disposals and four marks. Bell Chambers just the four touches. Need a late goal here, the Dons, but they won't get one from the clearance because McLean's banged it inside 50. Bontem Pally or front of the pack. Webb, there's going to be a free. Is that a mark? They're going to pay the mark to Mark to Webb. No, it's come back to Bagley. Do they don't like punching from behind, do they? There's a lot of hands on that footy. He goes short to Kelly. Kelly hasn't had his biggest afternoon. First it is kick. It is multicultural around Brownie, so chin's good. <laughs> Goddard. He was a character of Hawaii 5 I was <laughs> chin. He was always down the beach. <laughs> Long ball from Goddard to the wing broadcast side. One hand, a hooker can't mark. Taking it off the pack with Stewart. And ball Myers through the hands of Collier. It's opened up for the dogs potentially. Young near the boundary line. No. Out of play. We'll get a boundary throw in. What, happened to, the, of three what time. happened to the man in front rule? Mm. Gets judged the mark. Not, yeah. not the guy behind. No. Especially when you've got a lot of hands on it. Or the umpire who's actually got the gumption to go, you know what, you both had first touch, I'm going to ball it up. Or allow them just to fight it out from the boundary throw in front of the pack. Myers has got it. He's out of bounds. Wrapped up by Dullhouse. And we will get another boundary throw. And Danaher comes in and throws his weight around on Dullhouse. Two sixes. That's not much of a contest. Not much of a little Luke. So we've got another boundary throwing. Love to just get a stop here, the bowlers, and not allow the dogs another goal. Ball in the front of the pack. It's going to be a free kick for a hold. It's going to go to Heppel. Wasn't allowed to approach the footy, but it's not going to matter because that three-quarter time siren is going to sound with the doggies on the back of a seven-goal third quarter, pushing their five-point halftime advantage out to a 19-point lead. It got back to one point at around the 23-minute mark, and then... Four of the last five goals have belonged to the Dogs. Johannes and Liberatore, Bontempelli and Roughhead with Majors were the only one from the Bombers coming from Hooker in time on. 15-10-100 the Dogs. 11-15-81 the Bombers. 34 and a half minutes that quarter has gone here this afternoon. We'll take a bounce, a break, and then back with the bounce of the last quarter. Heath Buck, bags one of ten. Total tools injury updates and of course for Kubota's platinum excavator deal and got it's the thoughts of the Lee Brown. We'll take a break. Back shortly the brain carol for you're listening to the number one call team made in geelong in the surf coast for geelong in the surf coast for warrilily central land now selling